Hi and welcome, my name is Timothy Billiams. We're gonna be making a highly requested video on how to set up a basic stream using Lumia Stream. So what is Lumia Stream? Lumia Stream is a tool that helps streamers increase viewer engagement by allowing viewers to control lights and other devices in the streamer's room. Some of Lumia's features are multi-streaming, chat control, alerts, overlays, custom tipping, bio link pages, bots, and so much more. Lumia's supported platforms are Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Kick, Trovo, OBS, Streamlabs, Stream Elements, Voice Mod, and so much more. To get things set up, let's look at the bottom left where we have connections. Go ahead and select that. Top right, add new connection. In the connections, you can scroll or search to find the specific one you are looking for. When you're done setting up your connections, go to the main page and you will find the power button on the top left, which will stop the connections along with the stream mode to turn on and off your lights. In the top right, you are going to have access to dashboard tutorials, mod tool sidebar, control center, shortcuts, Lumia link, notifications, and your account. Let's go set up some commands. Commands can either be used by your chat, yourself, or you can attach it to any alerts. Accounts using the free Lumia will have up to eight commands that they can use. To make things easier, let's go ahead and add a folder. We're going to name it. We'll add a color to it. Now let's add our command. In the top right, you're gonna click add command. This will prompt you access to several different kinds. What we're gonna be focusing on is these seven in this video. Following this selected, we have lights. Lights, you can have different reactions, animations, or plain color to set and follow your command or alert. Next, we have the smart plugs. Smart plugs take the connected plugs you have to have a start and stop command. Within this, you can have the start be turn on a plug and end be turn off a plug. Chatbot will return a message to the chat of any supported platforms. You can choose to either enable or disable the chatbot. Next, we have the Lumia where we can add any other commands to this command. Choosing any command that we have, we can scroll down through the list and select the specific one. After we have it selected, add the action. After we added the command, we can go ahead and edit and test from this screen. Next, we have the key and mouse commands. This will control your keyboard and mouse based off of the prompts that you have per action. Next is OBS. In this section, OBS settings, such as scenes and sources can be controlled by actions. I utilize this often to switch scene to a larger face cam when an event occurs, or have my mod switch my scene to assist or bully me. Let me help you create your first command. We'll be making a song request command utilizing our Spotify connection. This will allow viewers to use a designated command to add a song to a Spotify queue using a song title and artist. In the Lumia tab, we have the types update variable and chatbot. In update variable, have the variable be requested song and the value be message as seen on the screen. In chatbot, have the message be username requested, requested song as seen on the screen. In the Spotify tab, we have the types play pause media and search and add to queue. In the play pause media, it may display the type as set play state. Set the value to play. In search and add to queue, set the value as message as seen on the screen. As you continue to the next step, you can set the name of the command. By default, it looks for an exclamation point as the start of the command. I use SR as my command name, which is short for song request. I've seen add song as a common choice as well. You can add a description and if you would like, you can show this comment in the commands page. Duration will not affect the song or chatbot, but will affect any lights triggered by the command. You can set the user level if you would want it available to all or restrict to specific levels. In the advanced command options, you can select skip queue, but it is not required. Then complete and save. Don't forget to refresh. Now let's set your overlays. On the left side of the dashboard, you will find under the creator section, overlays. Go ahead and click that, it will continue to the next page. At the top right, you will find add new overlay. Once selected, you can add your overlay name, the description, and what resolution you would like this source to be at. This is where you develop that specific overlay. Go ahead and adjust your zoom so you can see the whole scene. On the top left, we will find layers. 
Go ahead and add a layer. There are many layer categories such as alerts, general, labels, goals, HUD FX, streaming tools, and interactions. Continue to cycle through these layers to see what fits your style and what you would like. When you are ready, go ahead and upload it as a browser source in your streaming program. You can find your browser source link at the top right of your overlay. Now let's set up an HFX. These fun animated videos will display on the HUD FX source added to your Lumia overlay. You can search for a video or upload your own. What we will do is take the laughing red bird and we will go ahead and use that. We will preview. It will show us the preview. We can back out. Use. We'll click the use. I will then add it as a check command. You can then have it as the name if you want to leave it with the spaces or I will leave it as this and I'll change the B to a D. Play audio, yes. Loyalty points if you want to add it to any loyalty points along with any overlays specific. I will just use it as a chat command at this point. We we'll click done. It has now been added. Do not forget to refresh. Then we will go back to our commands. Now it looks like it's been added correctly. We'll go ahead and edit it. We'll remove the chat bot. My personal preference, complete. We'll go to the next step. Our name is there. I do want to show as a command. Next step, duration is auto adjusted to the video itself. And my, my settings will be for subscribers and up. Next step, skip queue does not matter for me in my settings, it may matter to you. Complete and save, refresh. And there we go. A great basic step to your Lumia stream. Go ahead, have some fun. In the description, I will have a link to where to download Lumia stream. And don't forget to use code Jimbo to save yourself some money when you go ahead and go premium. Go ahead and leave a comment if you have any questions. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much.